This video is about the retail sales report. Hello, I'm Peter Martin with Trading212, and I thought I'd explain a little about US retail sales, which is one of the more closely followed economic reports released each month. It's put together and released by the Census Bureau, which is part of the US Commerce Department. And the full name of the report is the Advanced Monthly Sales for Retail Trade and Food Services Report. But in the market, it is generally just referred to as retail sales. The report comes out at 8.30 a.m. US Eastern Time, which normally equates to 1.30 p.m. UK time. And it comes out about a couple of weeks after the period on which it's reporting. So I'm recording this video right at the end of October and October's data is due to come out in on the 15th of November. So we can see that's quite close in proximity to the period on which it's reporting. Now, as I said, retail sales is one of those reports that's one of those ones that people very closely follow each month. Well, why is that? Well, if we consider what's going on in the financial markets at the moment, the uh, U.S. stock market has been coming under quite a lot of pressure. We've seen share prices declining this month. Um, and one of the questions that naturally arises out of that situation is whether it is a temporary fluctuation in investor confidence that we're seeing, or is this perhaps presaging something more permanent or more lasting that's happening with the fundamentals, with the actual economy. So we have to look at some actual measurements. So what can we look at? Well, we could look at the broadest and most comprehensive measure of overall economic health, which is the GDP report. The only problem with that is that the GDP report is not very timely. As I said, I'm recording this at the end of October. We only just recently got the advance or first estimate of third quarter GDP, the third quarter being July, August and September. And so if we think about what is contained in that report, you have to wait to learn what's going on in July and August. You have to wait all the way through to deep into October. So not the most timely report. So what other reports can we look at that are more timely instead of looking at GDP? Well, one trick economists use is to look at non-farm payrolls and use it as a proxy for GDP because historically there has been a very tight correlation between non-farm payrolls and GDP. Now, one other trick, though, is to look at monthly reports containing hard data that is actually ultimately going to be compiled into the GDP report. Um, and one of the crucial key areas here is personal consumer expenditures, basically consumer spending, because personal consumer expenditure growth is one of the major drivers in GDP growth. Now, where we can see the hard data for this is in a monthly report called the Personal Income and Outlays Report. However, there is a more timely version that we can look at, namely the Retail Sales Report, which comes out up to two weeks ahead of the Personal Income and Outlays Report and contains data that can allow us to get insights into what's going on with consumer spending. So how does the market react to retail sales? Well, all things being equal, higher retail sales, we would normally expect to contribute to higher corporate profits. And so that tends to be favorable for stock prices. Um, if retail sales are surging higher, that can contribute to higher retail prices. So there's an inflationary aspect to the report of strong retail sales. And so strong retail sales tends to be unfavorable for bond prices, which don't like higher inflation. Um, and we can also look at the way the report breaks down the different types of sales to give us some insights into different sectors or even for individual shares. For example, let's say that I hold shares in Home Depot, then I might be very interested in looking in the retail sales report at the building materials and gardening supply section of the report. Or, and similarly, if I hold shares in Gap, then I might be very interested in looking at the breakdown for clothing and clothing accessory stores. Um, and the report also breaks down retail sales into certain overall subgroups. And one of these excludes uh, motor vehicle sales. And this is of interest because motor vehicle sales uh, can vary a lot more widely than other areas in the report. So looking at this area effectively helps to strip out volatility, which makes it easier to spot larger trends. 
Now the data in the retail sales report is seasonally adjusted, so it does take into account seasonal variations. That said, an area of focus are sales over the holiday shopping season, which is the span of time between Thanksgiving and Christmas. What's interesting about that, of course, is that Thanksgiving doesn't occur on a fixed date, which means that the span of days actually varies in time each year. Um, Thanksgiving falls on the fourth Thursday in November. That's the 22nd of November this year. And I make it that there's 32 days between then and Christmas, which is on the very long end of that variable range of days that you can have for that shopping period. And conventional wisdom is that the longer the period, the better it is for holiday season sales. And historically, there has been a, uh, you can see that there is a relationship between holiday season sales and how the overall economy fares. So that is a brief explanation of retail sales. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and give us a like. Or if you've got any feedback, why not send us a message in the comments section? We do read through every comment that we receive. Now, as well as doing these educational videos about trading in general, we also do videos with analysis of popular markets, including gold and crude oil and euro versus US dollar. Uh, the best way to access all those videos is to click on the subscribe button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we do upload new videos on a regular basis. If you hit the alarm bell icon, then you'll get a notification the next time we upload a new video. But that's all for this time from me, Peter Martin and Trading212. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.